Does your child struggle to get ideas down on paper? Or maybe you do. You might even be a teacher and your student is having a hard time with this. I'm about to give you a simple trick to overcome this problem. I find that this is a very common problem among those struggling with learning difficulties. Many are great communicators. They can talk, 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 talk. But as soon as it comes to getting those ideas on paper, they freeze up. They will drop their pen or pencil, knock things over, need a drink of water, have to go to the bathroom, cry, charm, throw a tantrum, whatever they can do to avoid writing. Now writing is a critical skill. We need to learn to express ourselves. Without it, we'll run into all sorts of problems. Getting into a good school or getting a good job is nearly impossible without basic writing skills. I know lots of people that have avoided great opportunities because these opportunities require a small amount of writing. It's heartbreaking to see lives held back like that, to see people not reach their full potential just because of a small skill, a skill that can be developed with the correct knowledge. There are several reasons for this problem. I'll talk about those in a second, but right now I want to give you a technique for the most common. A lot of those with learning difficulties are weak in the ability to think sequentially. This causes problems everywhere. They can't get ideas down on paper. They have a hard time understanding or following directions and they often don't finish tasks. If they sit down in front of a blank piece of paper, they panic. Oh, by the way, I really recommend doing this exercise and most exercises on paper. There's something about the connection between actual handwriting and the other brain centers that help with creativity and logical thinking. So unless it's absolutely necessary, forget the computer. Forget any writing accommodations. Just get out the pencil and paper. Yes, use pencil because it can be erased. Mistakes can be erased and that's important psychologically. So here we go. The trick is, drum roll please, outlining. I know it's nothing new, but it's rarely used. Even though many of the world's greatest authors use it regularly, they swear by it. But students are not often taught to do it. They are set down with a piece of paper in front of them and told to write. How in the world are they supposed to build the skills to think logically by doing that? It just won't work, but that's what we're making them do. So before writing, create an outline. Just get three sentences together and write them down. Five if you like. And they don't have to be in order at first, just get them down. Then you can discuss the order. Help the child find reasons to order them in a certain way. There's no wrong answer. Just help them think about it. Then go back to the first question. Ask clarifying questions about that sentence. Ask your child to write down the answer. By doing this, you are fleshing out the paragraphs. In other words, break it down into the tiniest chunks possible. And by the way, that's always the solution to getting anything difficult done. Break it down until the pieces are easy, then do each piece. Now for some kids, this might be a stretch. If so, break it down even further. Grab an object, preferably their favorite toy. Ask the child to write down one sentence about the object. Once they've completed that, ask them to write another. And then another. Then you have your outline. At this point, you can either flesh it out or start over with another object and do the exercise again. Not until the child gets fatigued, but just a little each day. A few minutes, you've got time. This will help your child build up more sequential thinking, which will help everywhere. This little exercise can really help your child, but that's not the entire solution. Children who struggle in learning need to step back 
and build up the basics. They need exercises that will build their self-confidence. They need body exercises like this one to get their brain into high gear. They need even more exercises to develop sequential thinking. And really, it's best if they can get all of this at home. You can give them what they need for them to succeed in school. Help your child become a successful learner, which leads to a successful life. That's what the learning success system is all about. It builds up those fundamentals of learning. It builds self-confidence. It incorporates the body so you can get the brain into high gear. Click on the link in the description to get your copy now.